Hi, this is just a short shout out video. It relates to two series that I'm still doing. The first is a pro-life blasphemy series, which I'm doing intermittently. The main theme of it is that the whole pro-life movement is a lie. It aborts the word of God. It is as anti-God as you can get. And I had no idea until this morning that this last segment, this is the PBS.org, God in America, it's a full six series. I had no idea until I got to this last, see where it's, it's in blue at the end, this last section called Of God and Caesar. I had no idea that it was going to shed light on how the pro-life movement got started. You need to watch this. If you're pro-life, you've been scammed. If you're not pro-life, here's even more evidence that it's a lie. Okay, I've been doing videos for years now. It'll take me years to finish them because there's like 500 verses in the Bible showing that you're not human until you're born. There are a lot of reasons for that and it's real vital for you to understand that or you will never understand the spiritual life. But what I didn't know is that the guy who started the whole anti-abortion movement as a political issue was a guy named Francis Schaeffer's son, Frank, who's interviewed in this last, this last section here. They call it part six, but it's the end of it. It's the last hour of the series. He's on camera talking to the interviewer, explaining how abortion became a political issue. He suggested it to his dad, the famous Francis Schaeffer, who became famous because he claimed he had a vision that Christians should go political in 1975 that there were seven mountains they had to climb of influence, which of course now in 2017 is called the Seven Mountains Movement. Seven Mountains is actually Bible text in Revelation 17, 8, and it's talking about those mountains being something a whore, namely religion, sits on. So Francis Schaeffer back in 1975 claims he had a vision from God to ordering him to go and conquer the seven mountains, which means he had no idea what Revelation 17 was warning against. It's warning against the very thing his vision said. So some demon was mocking him to give him that vision. And we're pretty, we can say with a lot of confidence it was a demon mocking him because there were two other guys that got the same vision at the same time. One was named Bill Bright and the other guy was named Lauren Cunningham. Of the three, only Cunningham is still alive. And you can go into YouTube and you can just Google on their names or go into YouTube and see them give this testimony. Okay, on top of that, there's a fourth guy. His name is Gilman Hall Hill. Gilman Hill. You type that in YouTube, you will hear him attest to, attest to their so-called tripartite vision, which they didn't know each other had, and then they compared their notes. And this fourth guy is talking about that occasion when they all found out they had the same vision. Okay, but the vision is anti the Bible which Revelation 17.8 makes clear, and all three of them, including the guy reciting, all of them are Christians, all of them claim to be holy, all of them are teachers and pastors or evangelists, and they all didn't know that Bible verse, okay? They're the ones who started Francis Schaeffer from his own son telling him in 1978, three years after he had his vision, to make a political issue of abortion and then he went, the father, went to Jerry Falwell Sr. who was not interested in making abortion a political issue. He convinced Jerry Falwell to make it a political issue. And that's when it became one. 
that's everything you're gonna everything I just told you you can see in here for yourself right here in the sixth episode okay of the series because those people are interviewed live you hear Jerry Falwell first say he wasn't interested. You'll hear Pat Robertson say they weren't interested in the abortion issue. And then it's Schaefer, who you also see in here in this last episode, who convinced them to make it an issue. In other words, they didn't care about whether or not there was an abortion until they could make political capital out of it. So they don't care about the fetus. And everybody who's signing on to the abortion issue today was led into it by their teachers who didn't care about it until they realized they could get political power. Okay? So if you're pro-life, you're a fool. You're anti-Bible in every way. I want absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with you. And you're a sucker on top of it. Because these guys solely invented it for politics. Okay? You watch this. Watch this last hour and see for yourself. On top of that, my other series that I'm doing about Revelation 17, which I've just mentioned, this guy, these guys being part of it, explains why Matthew 25.10 is talking about Christians leaving God in favor of, see look, of God and Caesar, in favor of Caesar. I didn't know when I said all that. I didn't know till this morning that this series even existed. And I didn't watch it until today. So you watch it and you see how much that conforms to the 42nd video in my Matthew 24 playlist about how this is against Trump and is specifically against the Seven Mountains New Apostolic Reformation Dominionist movement behind Trump now. That's all these people care about is political power. God means nothing to them. They want Caesar. And if you're part of them, if you adhere to the doctrines they do, guess what? You're in for some serious divine discipline if you're not getting it already. Peace out.